Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Pixel Rich Games, where we strive in making super hard, super fun. In this episode of Elden Ring, we are gonna get the Winged Sword Insignia. This is a pretty unique one, as its ability is to buff our attack damage the more we land on the Tango. The buff can go over a 12% increase in attack damage. I don't really have the exact number on this, but this does come in pretty handy. I mean, even for builds that don't really focus on this, it's already useful. In any case, give your boy some support by subscribing to the channel and liking this video to get YouTube's algorithm to promote this channel. We can get this awesome talisman pretty early in the game, so that's amazing. We'll be starting from Lyurnia, Highway North, Side of Grace, and our destination is called Stillwater Cave. There's a side of grace in this cave, so tap that. This cave is all about poison. So much like the cave for the gold scarab, but that one's rot instead of poison. If you're looking for a guide on how to get the gold scarab easy, check out the link in the description. Okay, so follow the path that I take to get to the boss of this cave. Yeah, you guessed right. We need to beat that boss to get the talisman that we came for. If you fall into the poison lake from a missed jump, there'll be a bunch of poison plants spraying away at you and a couple of bats trying to pee on you. Just keep in mind that there are ramps going back up from where you fell. There are some confusing turns because of the darkness, so a lamp or a torch would really help a lot. The boss in this cave is just a mini boss, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Alright, that's it for me in this episode. I hope you find a short guide useful. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to see more content on Elden Ring. Also, hit that bell to get notified whenever I have new content out. See you on the next vid. Stay healthy, keep safe, and God bless us all.